Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Swamp War. We've got a double header over here in Homerville tonight between your Indians and the Panthers. I'm Adam Bell along with Sammy Hendricks. Sammy, big series tonight, man. Yeah, big double header. Um, could go, you know, really big for Clinch County, being as far behind as they are right now. Uh, Indians in first place, um, pretty much control their own destiny. Uh, Clinch County really needs to win both these games to move up seed wise in the playoff and standings. Big, big, a lot, a lot riding. The uh, season winds up next week. Six games next week on top. Region, all region games. Just a huge <laughs> eight-game set coming up in about four days, five days. Yeah, well, there's one, there's one non-region game in there next week. It's, um, I think it's about Austin team we got to play. Okay. So we got six games next week, but I think one of those is non-region. But big, big series here tonight, no doubt about, it, especially for Clinch County. It's a busy, busy week yep. next week, no doubt about it. Now, we're, we're down here with the fans tonight, so uh, some of our fans have come in over here and asked us to block the mics. We're not responsible for anything you hear over the mics tonight, right, Sammy? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you folks at home might recognize some of the voices as we go. <laughs> All right, they're getting ready for player introductions on the national anthem. Are they doing it? And now the Clinch County Panthers.
All right, that was player introductions and the national anthem by Clinch County's public address announcer. Two other games in the region going on right now, uh, Turner and Echo and Eccles and Lanier. A lot of things are going to get settled this week. <laughs> yes, they are, no doubt about it. This week and next week, you're right. Now, y'all, for game one, y'all bear with us during game one. This is our uh, picture camera shot for game one. We, uh, we arrived here with the team, and we were pushing it to get set up by game time. Game two, Sammy, we'll have a remote camera up in the press box, so we'll get a better shot of the pitcher catcher later tonight. Yep. All right, line up real quick for the Indians. Leading off will be number three, David Walters. Batting second, number 11, Cole Crawford. Batting third, number 13, Colt Cruz. Batting fourth, number eight, Griffin Thomas. Batting fifth, number 16, Eli Hobbs. Batting seventh, number 29, Hayes Johnson. Sixth, Hayes Johnson. Batting seventh, number one, Ethan Crawford. Batting eighth, number six, Brantley Nettles. And batting ninth, number five, Isaiah Baker. Defensively, real quick for Clinch County in the outfield, left to right, left field, Deterius Adams, center field, Jordan Gatlin, right field, Jacob Depp. On the infield, third base, Ray Godfrey at shortstop, Mattis Allen. At second base, Taylor Kennedy at first base, Levi Corbett. Behind the plate, Watts Fortner. And on the mound, number eight, Hunter Henderson. All right, leading off. All right, here we go, Sammy. You got the call, man. Leading off for the Indians, number three, David Walters. I have a question. How do you always end up in the sun? Even when I, I bring know. the pop-up cat. I was just thinking the same thing. I still got it. You're, you're, you're always in the sun, man. Yeah. We're gonna start. Bring, <laughs> we have to bring two pop-ups. All right. Underway. First pitch is called strike. Oh one. A one pitch curve in the dirt, one and one. Windy but beautiful afternoon for some baseball. One one pitch is low, two and one. Infield playing David straight up in the outfield. Three and one. Three one pitch. Swung on and hit out toward right center field, and that ball's going to be over the center fielder's head. David around first, going to second. They're going to wave him to third. Going to have a play there. And David will be in with a leadoff triple to start the game. So great start for the Indians here at the top of the first. That'll bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. I thought it, Gallon had a beat on that ball to win, must have just keep carrying it over his head. First pitch to Cole is high and inside. I want to know. One oh pitch. Swing and a miss. One and one. Man, I felt like we're on the field down here, don't <laughs> you? Yep. Good fastball from Henderson. On that last pitch. One one pitch. A little high and outside. Two one. Fortner held the glove there for a minute, hoping to get the call changed, but he didn't get it from the home plate umpire. Two one in the dirt, three and one.
Three one pitch. Uh, must have been outside. Ball four. So first and third now with nobody out. That'll bring up number 13, Colton Cruz. Right field coming way in short out there in right field. Runner going from first, though, back to the pitcher, and nothing doing. So second and third now, nobody out. Outside. 2-0. Hey, Griff, back up just a little bit. Thanks, man. Thanks. 2-0 to Colton. Here it is. High, ball three. They were playing Colton really, really shallow out there in right field. 3-0 pitch. Swing. High fly ball down the right side. Dale going back. Still going. Still going. That ball's going to be over his head. Walter to score. Crawford around third. He'll go to the plate, and we're going to have a play there. And he's out at home. So Walter scores. Crawford's thrown out the plate. And Colton will go into third. So the Indians get on the board first here in the top of the first. They lead it one to nothing. They're breaking number eight, Griffin Thomas. Breaking ball, swinging to me, so one. And on that throw to the plate, Colton Cruz will go into third. A one pitch, swung on a foul back. 0 oh and 2. So that'll be a double for Colton and an RBI. And he'll go to third on the plate to the plate. O oh 2 to Thomas. Here it is. Breaking ball in the dirt. One and two. One two pitch, curve, low and outside, two and two. Two-two pitch, swing and a drive to center field. Gatlin coming in to make the catch, and Cruz will tag, and he'll be in home safely. So a second pass fly for Thomas and an RBI, and is now lead to two to nothing. Two outs, bases cleared. That'll bring up number 16, Eli Hobbs. First pitch to Eli is high, 1 0. Oh. One well, no pitch high, two and oh. So everything's staying high for Henderson early here in the first. Two o oh pitch in for a strike, two and one. One pitch, foul back, two and two. Hey, 
two two to Eli. Here it is. High ball three. Full count. Number twenty nine, Hayes Johnson on deck. Three two pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to the left. Adams back. And makes the catch right number three. But the Indians get two runs on three hits. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Indians lead it two to nothing. We'll be back right after this. You're watching the Indians baseball swamp war on CSN when we come back. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkston, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. All right, welcome back. Bottom of the first, the Indians up two to nothing, Sammy. All right, leading all four of the Panthers will be number six, Darius Adams, followed by Jordan Gatlin, and then Levi Corbett. That's the first three. For the Panthers here in the first. Defense lead for the Indians on the mound. Cole Crawford behind the plate. Eli Hobbs at third base is Ethan Crawford at shortstop. Griffin Thomas, second base, Hazel Johnson. First base, Colton Cruz. And then the outfield left to right and left is Isaiah Baker. In center is David Walters. And right field is Brantley Nettles getting a start here for the Indians here in game one. And he's got two runs on two hits back in the bot top of the first. Lead it two to nothing. And game one of doubleheader. All right, Cole, we finished his warm-up tosses, and we're set to go here in the bottom of the first. Number six, Deterius Adams will lead it off. It's a little bit low, one to know. One no pitch, foul back, one on one. One one pitch, swing and a miss, good fastball from Cole. Blew that right by Adams. One two pitch, here it is. Ooh, must have been inside, I guess. Two two. Two pitch, curve outside, three and two. So full count on to Terrius Adams. Pay all pitch, here it is. Call strike three, struck him out. One down. One down. That'll bring a number two, Jordan Gatlin.
Looking at the region records here coming in tonight's game. Indians come in at 12 and 0, and Clinch comes in at 7 and 8. First pitch to Gatlin is one to miss, 0 1. No one pitch, swing and a miss. So Cole bringing the heat here early in the first inning. 0 and 2. O two 2 pitch a little high. They're going to take the first base umpire, and he says no swing. The 1 and 2. That's a good call. I don't think yeah. you're winning. Nah, it's a little high. One, two, foul back. Still one and two. One, two, high, two and two. Man, it's a beautiful day out here. It is, yeah. It's nice. Two, two. Right down the middle. Ooh. Mm, must have been one. outside, three and two. Must have been outside. I guess. Three, two pitch. That's right down the middle. Oh, yeah, outside, I guess, again, ball four. So, looks like you're going to have to throw the ball right down the middle of the plate this evening. So, a one-up walk by Gatlin to bring up number seven, Levi, Levi Corbett. Eli's mitt didn't move on that one, boss. <laughs> Round plate today. First pitch to Corbett is swing on the miss. 0 1. Throw over to first. Gatlin back safe. Short lead by Gatlin over on the first. He's going. Pitch is called strike, throw to second. Nobody there. Adams will be in there safely. Tracing Gatlin will. <laughs> 0 and 2 on Levi Corbett. Rudder at second now, one out. 0 2 pitch outside. Number 15, Taylor Kennedy on deck for the Panthers. One, two to Corbett. Call strike three. So two down. And bring up number 15, Taylor Kennedy. Big lead by Gatlin, never down to second. He's going. Pitches. Got him. Third. No, oh, he caught him safe. Oh, my. Whew. Yeah, and that's going to bring oh, Coach. Oh, attack was on the foot before the back, before he hit the bag. He was right in the camera shot. That's going to bring Coach Marchman out to talk about that one. Coach Marchman wants a little help from the home plate umpire, but I don't think he's going to get it. Yeah, now he is. I mean, I had that right <laughs> on. I 
mean, you can't. I got replay over here if y'all need it. <laughs> yeah, they're going to stay with the call safe. Mm. So running to third now, two outs. Kennedy at the plate. He squares the bunt, pulls back and takes strike. One on one. Squares again. Takes strike two. Boy, he's throwing some smoke, ain't he? One and two. Two pitch, here it is. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Crawford strikes out the side here in the bottom of the first. Panthers leave one at third, go to the top of the second, two to nothing Indians. We'll be right back. Looks like we're going to have us another swamp war this evening when we come back. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenney, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross. And I'm... Welcome back to Homerville, home of the Panthers. Swamp War on CSN this afternoon, Sammy. All right, going to the top of the second, Indians lead at two to nothing. Late in all, four the Indians will be number 29, Hayes Johnson, followed by Ethan Crawford, and then Brantley Nettles. Hunter Henderson still on the mound for the Panthers. <laughs> right, first pitch to Johnson is outside. I want to know. One oh pitch is low, two and oh. Two pitch, a little slow roller back to the mound. Henderson the field. No, he drops it. Picks it up, throws the first in time for the out. One down. Now to bring up number one, Ethan Crawford. First pitch is low, one and oh. Pitches outside, 2-0. Oh. Two oh, foul back, 2-1. 
Ethan was a winning pitcher in Tuesday night's game against Clinch over in Foston. Two one, low, three and one. <clears throat> three and one. Three one pitch. Nope, low no ball low. four. So one out walk by Crawford. That'll bring up number six, Brantley Nettles. <coughs> What's up, Joe? Joel Shiver, Recreation Department Director. Good lead by Ethan over at first. Throw over that way. Go to first again. Oh, great play over there by Corbett to keep that ball from going out in the right field. First baseman saved that he ball. He did. Pistonell's runner going. Pitches swung on a foul, foul back. 0-1. Again, 0 and 2. They're getting their new school building up over here, aren't they? They are. It's a big one, too. When do we start ours? I know we're starting them like, this year or next year. I don't year. know. I have no idea. I think they keep changing plans on it. 0 2 to Nettles. Runner going, swinging a miss. Third down the second. It's a high throw. And Ethan will go in safely at second. So two down now, runner at second. It's going to bring up number five, Isaiah Baker. First pitch to Isaiah is high, one to know. by Ethan down to second. Pissed Isaiah swung on hit over towards short. It's going to get through for a hit. They're going to wave Crawford to the plate, and there's going to be no throw. He'll go in standing. So big two out single by Isaiah Baker. Gives the Indians a three to nothing lead. That gets us back to the top of the order. Number three, David Walters. David tripled and scored back in the first. So the first, Baker back save. Pitch is high and gets by the catcher. Rolls all the way to the backstop, and Isaiah move up to second. He'll be there now with two outs. <clears throat> One and no on Walters. <clears throat> One no pitch. Swing, and that's a base hit. That's going to roll all the way to the – Left fielder almost to the wall. Baker around third. He'll score. Walters going to second. He'll slide in there with a RBI double. And he's now leading four to nothing. So 
So two, two out, RBI singles for the Indians back to back. Indians lead up four to nothing. That'll bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. Cole Walt back in the first. First pitch to him was low, 1-0. Usually by David over down to second. Pitch to Cole, low in the dirt. Bounces off the catcher and Walters will go to third with no throw. So he'll be there now with two outs. Got away with the one right there, didn't mm -hmm. we? <laughs> two and oh. Down low, three and oh. Nice block behind the plate back there by Watts Fortner. Saved a run. Three oh pitch. Swinging him. Oh, yeah. Drive down to the left side, but foul. That was gone. Oh, foul ball. Foul ball. Oh, man. Foul ball. I thought it was gone. <laughs> Cole with the green light on 3-0. 3-1 oh. now. 3-1 pitch. Swing and a drive to that left center going. field. That ball's going. It's going to be out of here. A two-run homer by number 11, Cole Crawford. That one hit the new school bill. <laughs> Indies now lead us 6 to nothing. Nice job, man. Kind of cool being down here on the field with these guys. We get to talk to them a little bit. <laughs> going to have a timeout called by the Panthers. Uh, coach going to come out to the mound and talk with Henderson. Well, if you call, you knew he was coming with something down the middle, 3-3-1. Three, three, he had to throw a strike. Yeah, so. he did He did 3-0, and oh, and you knew he was going to do it 3-1, too. Cole just sat back on it and drove it out of here. Conference on the mound is completed, and it's going to bring in number 13, Colton Cruz. Colton doubled, scored back in the first. First pitch to him is one hit off. foul. Four runs on two outs here in the second for the Indians. 0-1 pitches in the dirt, 1-1. One one. One, one to Colton, here it is. That's it, Dead Bob ball that hit him. So Colton will be at first now with two outs. And that's going to bring a number eight, Griffin Thomas. Griffin flew out the center back in the first. You know, I'd like to know what the dimensions of this fence is. I don't know how, what the dimensions of the fence here is. Because it looks huge from where we're sitting at. And all the infielders are playing in real shallow. I want to, I'd like to know what the dimensions are. First pitch to Griffin is swung on a miss, 0-1. Good lead by Colton at first. Uh, he thought about going. He started and stopped a couple of times, and now he's going to go back to first. Ball is low on Thomas, one on one. <laughs> Throw to first, Colton back safe.
One on pitch, Cruz is going, swing, pop up down the short center field. Gatlin back and makes the catch right number three. But not before the Indians get four here in the second. Go to the bottom of the second, Indians lead is six to nothing. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Indians baseball on CSN when we come back. At Walker Jones, Chevy.com. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Family owned Valancourt Construction, established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities, as well as state of the art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. Welcome back to Clinch County. Indians lead six to nothing in game two, uh, game one of our doubleheader. Sammy? All right, leading all for the Panthers here in a second will be Maddox Allen, followed by Watts Forner and Race Godfrey. Five, six, and seven for the Panthers. And he's got two in the first and four here in the top of the second. They lead it six to nothing. First pitch is called strike, 0 oh, 1. That one pitch is a little high, 2 1 1. One one pitch. A check. Said in didn't swing. Two and one. Did he go? Nope. Two one pitch. Foul back. Two and two. They're racing for them foul balls. <laughs> Not very often that Eli gets outrun to a ball, but he did on that one. Two and two on Allen. Two two pitch, foul back. Two pitch, foul back again. Still two and two. It's a good battle between Crawford and Allen here. That one landed over there near a ride, man. Can't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> two and two on the Panther shortstop. Two two pitch. Swung on a miss. Crawford wins that battle. Bring a number nine, Watts Fortner. Go with some heat on that last fastball. First pitch, squares the bunt, pulls back, and takes the ball high. One and oh.
One of a pitch. Go try. One of one. One of one. Swung on a miss. One and two. One, two, little chopper. Back to the mound, Cole Fields, and throws the fur in time for round number two. Going to bring a number three, Race Godfrey. Two down here to bottom of the second. First pitch of Godfrey is high. I want to know. One oh pitch is high. Two and oh. Bring him down just a little bit. Two oh pitch hit foul and retort a path through the dugout. Wake up in the dugout. Two and one. Two one pitch called strike. Two and two. Two two pitch, here it is. Little chopper foul. Foul ball. Over toward a Panther on deck batter's box. That ball come all the way from the bullpen? <laughs> Wild pitch. <laughs> Wild pitch. I guess so. <laughs> two and two on Groffrey. Swung on a miss, strike three. Yeah. So nothing doing for the Panthers here in the bottom of the second. Go to the top of the third. Indians lead at six to nothing. Are y'all on? We'll be right back after this. Please remember to shop local and support the folks that support your youth. Yeah. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says, Go Indians! The USP Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Folkestone, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should at the home of the lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Welcome back to Homerville, live at Clinch County with Swampore. Indians up six to nothing, Sammy. All right, leading off here in the top of the third for the Indians will be Eli Hobbs, followed by Hayes Johnson, then Ethan Crawford. New pitcher on the mound for the Panthers, number two, Jordan Gatlin.
starting pitcher for the Panthers. All right, leading off for the Indians, number 16, Eli Hobbs. Eli flew out to the left back in the first inning. First pitch to Eli is swung on the ground over toward third. Field there, long throw to first. In time for out number one. So one pitch, one out for Gatlin. Now to bring up number 29, Hayes Johnson. First pitch, Hayes is high, 1-0. Oh. Two and oh. Two and oh pitch right down the middle. Two and one. Three and one. Ball four. So one out walk by Johnson. To break a number one, Ethan Crawford. <laughs> Ethan Walton score back in the second. <clears throat> Johnson's going to be on the move here. Not. Pitch is low, 1 0. Oh. One 0 oh pitch. Swing his slow toward third, the field to third on the second for one. Looks like he pulled his foot, but he got the call on the out for out number two. Hmm. So two down. Crawford will be at first. And bring a number six, Brantley Nettles. Brantley struck out back in the second. First pitch is a little slow roller foul. Ball. Hey, Baker. Baker. Who hey. one pitch? Call strike two. Oh and two. Safe. Close play over there. O and two on Nettles. O two pitch runner going pitches high. Throw down a second. Not in time. The ball goes to go out in the center field. And Nathan will move over to third. He'll be there now with two outs.
One, two on Bentley Nettles. Electric, serving Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years experience in both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on whole house generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light fixtures, and much more. Call us today for an estimate, 912-496-4528. West Folkestone Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sports. For all of your auto and big truck needs, go by and see Sammy and his staff today. They have everything from lawnmower blades to parts for big rigs and heavy equipment. Clark West Folkestone Auto Supply is located at 4439 2nd Street in Folkestone, Georgia. For all of your parts and accessories, it's Clark West Folkestone. Go Indians! For nearly 20 years, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives have made Friday night football electrifying. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's EMCs are proud to support high school athletics in the community. be served standing behind every hike every completed pass and every team celebration because we know that today's high school athletes are tomorrow's local leaders georgia's emcs
Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Camden Counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance. See Andy Gowan today for your insurance needs. Phone 912-729-7600 for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Gowan Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network.
Check one, two. We're back now. You hear me now? Check one, two. I'm getting green bars now. It's about a three minute delay between me and you. Yeah, I think that I box got it. it. You can hear it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The box got hot from the sun. All right, bases loaded. Nobody out for the Indians. Colton Cruz at the plate. 2 0 on him. Three and That bother you? All right. Bases full of Indians. Three and zero on Colton Cruz. Runner going to the plate. Pitches outside and runs safe. Ball four. So the run would have scored anyway. Baker scores. Walters to third. Pinch runner, I think that's Baker, will go to second. And Colton Cruz will be at first. Give Colton an RBI. And he's now lead a seven to nothing. Now to bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. Griffin 0 for two, flew out twice to center. First pitch. In for a strike, 0 and 1. A 1 pitch. Swing and a drive toward right center. That ball's going to get down. One run scores. Baker around second. He'll score. And Griffin goes into second. With a two run double. Second and third now, still nobody out. That'll bring up number 16, Eli Hobbs. Eli 0 for 2, flew out to the left in the first and grounded out to third in the third. Still no outs, man. Yeah, I think that sun knocked out the audio for a minute. That box got hot. Gotcha. Unplugged it, plugged it back in, and we're back, I think. Second and third, nobody out. Hobbs at the plate. First pitch to him is swung on, a little check swing over toward third foul. Plate, 0 and 2. What's up? O2 pissed Eli. Curve that hit him in the back. Pitch. Eli took that one right in the middle of the back. And that's going to load them back up again for the Indians. I'll bring in number 29, Hayes Johnson. <clears throat> number seven, Clayton Lawrence had <coughs> to run for Eli.
First pitch to Hayes, the swung over here toward first, off of Corbett's glove, over toward second, one runner score. And second runner's gonna come to the plate, and he'll be safe. So two more runs in for the Indians. So first and second, nobody out. Now to bring up number one, Ethan Crawford. Ethan walked and scored back in the second and reached on a fielder's choice in the third. First pitch is in the dirt. Nice play back, back, back there behind the plate by Watts Fortner. One-o pitch inside two and oh. Ain't right, mm -hmm. all right. Sammy says I wasn't right. I liked my score better, Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> two o. Ah, three and oh. Rio pitch. In for a strike, three and one. Call strike, full count. Three two pitch, low ball four. Now it's back up to my score. <laughs> uh-uh. Still 11. Ain't right. They just. Okay. 10-4, yeah. I got you. Bases loaded. Brantley Nettles at the plate for the Indians. First pitch to him is swung on a foul off at the plate. 0-1. That's right, because that wasn't on bases loaded walk. It was runners first and second. Gotcha. Yeah. You're right. One oh. Or over one is high. One and one. Where's all that pollen, man? Are you getting a lot of pollen over there? It's all over my laptop. I can't even see the screen hardly. Swing and a miss. One and two. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Five runs in so far in the inning. One, two pitch. Foul off at the plate. One and two. Two piston medals, here it is. Ah, two and two. Isaiah Baker on deck. Two two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down. That'll bring up number five, Isaiah Baker. Baker, Baker led the in and off with a reached on an error and scored. First pitch to him is high, one and oh. 
one oh pitch in first strike one one Crawford at first, Johnson at second, Hobbs at third. Or swung on into the hit. That's it. It's going to get through. One run to score. Johnson to score. And Baker will go to second. Number 20, Jacob Thickpen will come in and hit for Walters here in the fourth. Fly ball to right, Colt. Crawford will tag and go to the plate, and he'll be in safely. So give RBI to Thickpen. Two down. Number nine, Brody Baker will come on and hit for Crawford here in the fourth. Baker at third with two down. First pitch, and that got him in the back. Baker will hustle down to first. All right, number 15, Chase Roden will come on and hit for Colton Cruz here in the fourth. First pitch to Chase is low in the dirt. Nice block by Fortner. First and third, two down. Indians lead at 14 to nothing. What do we pitch? Swung on high, high to center. Center fielder going back and makes the catch around number three. So the Indians score eight runs here in the fourth. Go to the bottom half. They lead at 14 to nothing. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians baseball, CSM. Four Seasons Floral, located at 4415 Second Street North in Folkestone, Georgia, has all of your floral needs covered from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations, proms, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912-496-7043, and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full-service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Welcome back to Homerville. Indians up. We have 14 to nothing, right? 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing right now over the Panthers. Sammy? All right, leading off the fourth floor, the Panthers will be... Jordan Gatlin followed by Levi Corbett and Taylor Kennedy. Cole Crawford still on the mound for the Indians. Cole has seven strikeouts through three innings.
Gatlin Walt back in the first inning. Defensive change for the Indians, number 15, Chase Roden will stay in after that bat, and he'll stay and play first base. First pitch is popped up, foul over toward first base, Roden over, and makes the catch for out oh, number one. nice job. Chase ran that thing down. One down. I'm going to bring a number seven, Levi Corbett. Corbett struck out back in the first. First pitch, low, 1-0. Oh. One oh pitch, low, two and oh. Three and oh on the Panther first baseman. It's right down the middle. Three and one. Three one. Swing and a miss. Oh. Ooh, they ain't got Eli right in the mask. I thought that called Eli in between the protector and the mask, but it didn't. <laughs> they got him. He got him hustled over and got the ball. And a great job by the home plate umpire giving Eli a chance to get his marbles back and ain't got him right square in the mask. Great job by the home plate umpire. <clears throat> Three and two on Levi Corbett. Three two pits. Swung on a miss. Strike three. Strikeout number eight for yeah. Crawford. Now to bring in number 15, Taylor Kennedy. Blue City win, 0-1. Oh, 0-1 pitch in the dirt, 1-1. One one. One, one. Yeah, high. Left field, Isaiah over about five steps to his left. Makes the catch for round number three. So nothing doing for the Panthers here in the fourth. Go to the top of the fifth. In his lead of 14 to nothing. A ball game? That's scoring. That's scoring, right. That'll be ball game for game number one. Final, ball, Charlotte ball County 14, right. Clinch County zero. So the official score was 15? No, they just called it because of time. Oh, oh, okay. All right, we'll be back in 30 minutes with game two of our doubleheader right here on CSN. <laughs> 